Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again, ready to head out into the Crimson Court once more. I'm hoping we have the invitation ready. If we don't, I'm not actually sure what we're going to do this episode. I've prepped for this episode quite a lot, um, but we are kind of ready to go. We're going to kick it off with uh, a diary entry. Uh, Blank Gaming actually wrote one for Sven the Oceanborn, so we're going to uh, quickly go through that because he does have some ties to Zai, who unfortunately passed away in the Crimson Court previously. And then I'll get into the build that we've... Uh, sort of come up with me and TA and um, we will try our best to actually get through the courtyard this time or at least as far as we can uh, so this is the diary entry for Sven I had a, um, I've had a lot of time to think after Zai's downfall what would she have wanted from me would she be happy if I just stood here sobbing because of how much I miss her no she'd want me to use the things she's taught me to prevent others from having the same fate as her she'd want me to be happy even if happy without her She'd want me to be strong now, because she can't bear to see me suffer this much. I will miss her, but moping until she magically raises from the grave won't do anything. On the other hand, crushing the skulls of the unholy monsters will stop them from harming anyone else. As an added benefit, it could even blow off some steam. Indeed. Unfortunately, Sven did have some ties to Zai, and it, he is going to be pretty upset that she's gone. Um, he kind of taught uh, Sven. She kind of taught Sven, should I say. Like, uh, that was kind of his mentor. And yeah, it's 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 a sad sight to see when we have someone that has strong ties to another and they die. But anyways, let's jump in and go over the build. Like I said, I don't actually know if we have an invitation. I don't know if there's any way to check. <laughs> I really don't. I'm hoping we have one. Uh, if not, we can quickly go and get one in this level one mission, I think. I think. Um, but here we are. This is the mission we're going for, the Viscount, and this is the team. We have Hammurabi with extra accuracy, damage, and extra damage for a really, 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 really high damage build. The only problem we have here is he has observed. I don't know if that affects the Crimson Court. I really don't, but I'm really, really, really hoping it doesn't, because <laughs> that could be slightly problematic. Next up, we have Percy. Of course, Percy previously went out. Unfortunately, he has Complacent, which means that above 75% HP is going to get an accuracy down, but that is going to be sorted with a few of the skills we're going to look at soon. So here, we're just going with a Cherish Keepsake because we want that prop. And we also want the um, minus stress, as well as just a chance to relieve some stress on other people too. I think this is a really good trinket. Uh, and then we've also got the um, Baneful Casting for extra prot. Essentially, because of his base HP being a little lower than people like Amurabi, I really wanted to buff that up. So we've got that up there. We've got this here, and this is buffed up with 30%. Then we've got Sunasis, which is a strange pick, as you may see, 28 HP. But we're buffing that up with 50 prot, an insane amount of prot. And she's mainly coming as stress mitigation, buffing both accuracy and prot, which is incredibly important, curing blight and bleed, and giving us debuff for damage received. Very, very important, as well as mark target. The mark target is also quite nice. I do quite like that a lot. Um, and then, of course, we have Amaris in the back. Uh, Amaris, she's proven herself time and time again to be an incredibly effective both healer and stress healer. And essentially, with Percy, we're going to be using the Sanitize quite a lot, which is going to obviously lower stress, give us massive bleed and blight resist, which is the main reason we're using it, but also the disease resists too. Um, and that bleed and blight resist paired with the fortified garlic is essentially going to mean that this here is an insanely strong heal with essentially no downsides because we're very rarely going to take the bleed or the blight and it, it essentially means that amorous is going to be an incredibly effective healer so we're going with juni's head uh, we do have a little bit of extra stress coming in on a few characters here 20 percent here 20 percent there um, and 10% here, 10% there. So we, each character's got about 20% extra apart from Percy, who's got a minus 20%. But I think with the stress mitigation we currently have, that shouldn't actually matter. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. This is a bit of a risky build, but I really do think that this could work, especially with things like the Collar and Contain and Apprehend. We always want to pop Sanitize first, pretty much no matter what. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't pop that first. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see if we can we're gonna see if we can do that we're gonna see if we can do this still embark 
it's a scary old thought to jump in here because we we did uh, have some unfortunate times last time again as i said last time we're not really looking for loot of any sort we're gonna take 12 of those we're not really looking for loot of any sort i don't care if we don't come back with any money or curios we are just looking to get out of this alive and i think that this team has the best chance of making that happen and um, ta was actually the main spearhead behind the decision and behind the the theory crafting of this team especially with um characters such as Stunasis and Percy. These two were, were his idea. Um, and Hammurabi as well, actually. I, I, I thought of Amaris, but these three were his idea. And um, he's really put together a very, very good team, in my opinion. I think this is going to be a team that should be very, very resilient to damage. The only person I'm worried about is Stunasis, because she only has 28 health. But I don't know of any enemies that cut through prop. I don't think that exists. And if it does, I don't think there's any in the uh, courtyard. If there is, we are screwed. But I don't think there is. I'm really banking on the fact that there isn't. Um, so we effectively have double what that HP says there. 50% is a huge number to buff our prop by. And it should mean that she takes very little damage. And if we really, really start to get scared, we can take off Know Thy Enemy, pop on Clingy and Needy, and Force Guard from Hammurabi or Amorous. I think either one of those two will work out really nicely. So let's embark, let's do this, and let's hope, hope that this goes a little better than last time. I think last time we had an interesting setup, but we, we essentially didn't have that fallback for when shit went down. When people started getting hit and crit for really high numbers across multiple different characters, we didn't have that fallback option. Now, one thing I will say is we don't have a dedicated AoE heal, but with their, with Amorous's lovely, lovely little, I've, I've done one thing wrong already. Oopsie. I've started these two out in the wrong position. That's going to be annoying. Um, but yeah, I've accidentally mixed those two around. This, this is how they should be. Um, that, that, that should be fine. It just, it, we just have to. We absolutely have to remember that I've done that. Um, otherwise, we are screwed. I'm glad I noticed. But yeah, so basically, um, we're, we're going to be using this mainly. But also, Lazarus's gift to activate that repost is very, very strong. The repost is very, very good. So let's go. So obviously, you guys will remember, we're coming into the same fight we, we got last time. The surprise is amazing here. Uh, so we're going to set up this. He should almost always go first, which is great for us. We always use this first as well. That's going to buff our prot and our accuracy, which is, again, incredibly important. We get the repose started up here, giving everyone a heal, and then we just start going for kills. We just start trying to hit things down. These guys, we want to kill as, as quickly as we can. They're really, really deadly. Uh, of course, we might take the curse here. We're going to end up taking stress, all that jazz. I don't think that's going to matter all too much. That's what I was worried for. But as you can see, everyone's everyone's lived through that relatively okay. I think we're all in a pretty decent position here. Um, the first coming in. The heals are big. But as you can see, this, this team's dealing with it. This team's dealing with it. And everyone gets a heal from that as well. Um, so we are going to... We are going to um, collar and restrain this guy here. Lower that damage. Lower that accuracy. Okay, that's okay. And I think now we start curing people. Because we got that cure as well as a heal. Very nice. The first coming in. We very well could take the curse here. But that 40% disease resist should help out. We'll get a kill here. These enemies, of course, are a really big pain. But we can deal with them. Uh, so this shouldn't, shouldn't, yeah, we didn't get the Blight or the Bleed, so that's a really good heal there. Really good heal indeed. Stress is getting really high, so we're going to try and take care of that now, um, because it's climbing a little higher than I'd like. Um, let's set up our repose here. Why not? It debuffs you as well. Minus dodge. Great. And as you can see, that the, the amount of debuffs we're putting on here is really good. It might have been minus speed, actually, that we did there. Probably was. Um, minus dodge, actually. No, I was right. Uh, so now we're going to start clearing stress, because we really need to. It's going to take a while to clear people's stress all the way off, but we can do it. Um, and then if we just keep using this, this is a, an effective stress heal as well. As you can see, it does a sort of AoE stress heal here. And we're just going to go for the kill again here. So close to getting him, which is a real shame. Um, but as you can see... Um, Soonus is here, taking just four damage. 
That that is really annoying when he gets the first off just after we've hit him for such a huge number. Um, so now we can go for a pretty big stun. I'm going to do this and stun you because that's going to uh, get off that guard if we got the stun off. We didn't, unfortunately. Hitting, hitting Amorous is kind of the best position for us to be in. Not when that happens, of course. Um, that is not what you want to see. I didn't really think about enemies that are going to move us about. That's, that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, 44, 41. Just keep de-stressing you. As long as Hamurabi can do damage, we're okay. There you go. There, the you're gone. And... Blossoms. Because we, we can't even move back right now. I don't know why. I'm not sure why we can't uh, we can't move back right now. Hmm. Oh, we can use this here for a huge stress heal and just AOE heal. Only one use per battle, but I think now is a better, uh, good as time as any. Um, still going to keep stress relieving. I don't know why this is saying needling exertion right here. It, there you go. It's gone away now. Okay, moving you to the front's great. I've never seen you evolve before. Interesting. Um, we're going to just call and restrain you while you're uh, looking like that. I guess we could have ended up killing him in one hit there, but it was it was worth doing just in case. It is good to know that this position, like this this formation, works fine. That piercing definitely hurts, but Amorous coming in with the uh, the heals for everyone there, exactly what we need. Um, I think we just keep on like healing people up and stuff. Grab you. Can't be guarded. Definitely helps, but don't know. Refined palette. The stress is definitely a problem. I really didn't think the stress would be as big of a problem as it is. It's hurting a lot. Amaris is actually taking quite the beating. We're gonna we're gonna buff her pro in a moment. Nice. That's exactly what we want to see here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna buff her pro in a moment. Uh, I am gonna heal myself as well. Just remembered I can't, but buffing her prop does heal her, so that puts her in an okay position, so I'm fine with that. And that's a massive prop buff as well for four rounds. It does mark us, but I actually kind of think it's best to have her marked. I'm going to hit you again just for some damage. I know it's not going to pull you, but that's okay. Um, and then we're just going to keep stress relieving on Amaris here. She's getting a little high up there with stress, getting focused just a little bit. Um, we might as well do this again, because it's a big stress reliever and it gets us up to full health. Puts us in an okay position. As soon as Hamurabi goes, we should be we should be done here. There you go. Nice. And as you can see, this team this team handled that battle just far more elegantly. By the way, I don't know what this will do here. It gives us a 100% resolve XP. I'm not exactly sure if that's going to do anything. One thing to remember: always, always remember to swap these two around after after a battle. If we don't do that, we are going to have problems. That is, if, if there's anything that's going to be my downfall, it feels like that would be it. Um, but we should be okay here. I've got some tips about some of the curios we can do here as well. Apparently using shuffles on um, one of the things gives us campfires. Uh, I do remember that from last time, but it's just a nice reminder. As well as the fact that we can get some ancestral trinkets from a few of the um, people that you can give uh, blood to, which is also pretty interesting. Don't want to give away too much blood, but we'll do that every now and again. So being able to break guard is actually more important than I thought here with Percy. I didn't really think uh, Percy breaking guard would be a big deal, but it's it's obviously showing itself to be pretty useful here. Okay, these two are doing really good on stress. Um, we don't... As much as that's a huge stress heal, we just don't need it yet. I don't want to be using stuff that we don't need. Let's just activate the repurst for now. I feel like repurst is really, really good. Um, as you can see, everyone else's stress is fine right now. That's a great dodge to see, Hammurabi. Thank you. Again, same with you, Percy. Well done. Um, Q is going to do 14. Chop Chop could kill. If we can get a kill, I really think we should always go for the kill. We should only go for um, the Q if we know we can't get the kill. This guy healing up to 18, of course, while he's full health, just doesn't mean anything for us, which is great. Again, like I said, stress is just getting out of hand on Amorous, which is bizarre. I didn't expect that. Let's uh, clip you, stop you from doing a ton of damage, stop your speed as well. Probably going to take a bit of blight here. No, the resistance is helping. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to we're just going to stress heal you a little bit. The best thing about that is it's going to reduce the incoming stress as well. Um, I'm going to do this, set that up. Massive heal. Didn't need the heal, but the stress the stress relief is is amazing. 
Okay, so let's have a little look-see. So I think Q is actually the way to go here. Unfortunately, the miss. Even with the ama amazing amount of accuracy that Hammurabi has now, he's still going to be missing. That's kind of his thing. It is a shame, but it's kind of his thing. I love, I love how soon as this is just like back there like, oh my fucking god, this is so scary. <laughs> it's great. Let's break that guard. Choice cut. Amorous is stunned. That's fine though. We don't need Amorous right now for this turn. Your Amorous is never going to get Bled or Blight, which is great. Um, I think we just go for a kill here. Annihilated. Indeed annihilated. You can definitely tell in these champion missions that the combat does take a lot longer. It is a lot more involved, which I actually really like. I feel like it's nice when you're when you're winning clearly, but not stomping. It's really nice. Okay, so now with Amorous, uh, we're gonna do this first. With Amorous now, we're gonna go for the um, the self stress heal. This one here, just for the fifteen stress relief. It's a huge amount of stress relief. Like I said, it's a huge AOE heal for the team as well, but. More so for the stress relief. Got you back down to normal levels now. In fact, you've, um, soon as you've got more yourself. Oh, I did resist that. This is, that's always, that's go, like always going to be a downside and unfortunate thing about Percy. If he doesn't get off his debuffs, he is essentially useless because we're, we're kind of just using him for his debuffs and pull ability. Nice. I think, by the way, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think if we come across the croc, we can use apprehend here to pull him forward, which should stop him from doing apex. From what I understand, he can't do apex in position one. I, let me let me go and check that just to be a hundred percent sure, because I don't wanna I don't wanna say that and it be completely wrong. Uh, darkest dungeon croc. Let's have a little look-see. I don't know if it'll specifically say um, what, what moves he can use where. Uh, Apex Predator. It says that he can use it in any rank. Although it does say that it always pushes him forward four. So I'm going to assume that it's less likely. Um, that it's less likely he'll do it when he's forward, but that, that might be just completely wrong. Unfortunately... It does say, don't bring a leper against the crocodile, but that's okay. As long as we can pull him forward, we probably will be all right. But anyways, let's, let's keep on going forward. Let's keep on pushing. Uh, we'll, we'll open that up. While we've got so much materials, we might as well. Wealth beyond measure. Okay, like I said, I, d I really don't Walking care about deeds or anything like that. Like, alike. if we get a lot of them, cool, but I, d I don't need them at the moment. I'm not going to worry. How have you been bled? What happened? I don't know. Also, I'm not going to use shovels and things unnecessarily. I'm just going to feed you a little bit. It scares, it scares me going into battles when people aren't on their, aren't in their tip top of shapes. Okay. I don't actually know how long this Viscount journey is. I don't know if it's like the, the, the first courtyard boss we fought, where it is like an insane journey. Okay, we have this here, 95, 100. Okay, so Percy's going to be the trapped asylum once again. Of course, we kind of expected this Percy. That's kind of what he does, and it's kind of what he knows. So it, it makes a lot of sense, really. Wait, let's collect ourselves. Amorous, you're okay. Don't worry about it. We don't need to collect ourselves. We're fine. So yeah, I don't know if we're going to have to do the whole messing around where you have to go back and forward, finding the keys and fighting the crocs. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. But for now, let's just focus on what we can and make sure if things get too hairy that we just back away. Uh, so, of course, we're going to use Sanitize to start. Especially against uh, the courtyard enemies. If we come across normal enemies, we don't have to worry about that as much. But it's, it's mainly the Bleed and Blight resist we're doing it for. The Disease Resist is just a nice added bonus. Um, Hugh, Hugh won't kill. So let's just go for a kill. I think I think with the courtyard enemies, just getting kills is insanely important. More so than just doing damage across the board. I mean that's that's kind of a given in Darkest Dungeon as a whole, but in the courtyard it feels a lot more uh, a lot more precedent on it, just because enemies can do so much from so low health and they can heal themselves. That's kind of the bigger element of that. Um, so 
We can't move you at all. There's just no way. So I guess we restrain you. Not that you do a lot of damage. What's your debuff resist? I need to check something. So the debuff on this, it's 140%. And negating both of them, it's kind of insane, really. It's kind of insane. Um, let's, let's do this. Because I think with this, if the debuff pops off... It didn't. God damn it. What? Why? My debuffs are like so bad right now. I just I can't seem to hit any of them. I mean, that's only 110, so I can kind of see that with an 80%, but it's still a little infuriating. Um, What I wanted to do is debuff this guy to get the one hit with Hammurabi. He can one hit this guy anyway, so we can just do that. But I was really hoping to one hit the guy behind. But yeah, I do realize that we've taken some of these people out very recently, but I think this build is still really good. Percy being um, stunned is probably one of the better people on our team to be stunned. If anything, we really just don't, don't want Hammurabi to be stunned. That would be terrible. Um, we don't have anything to clear stun, but you very rarely do, so that's fine. Percy's kind of the best one to get stunned because his debuffs are just like, they're there. They are what they are. I can say it reversed again. Small heal for everyone. Skewer coming in. It's nice when it hits this guy, Hammurabi, because he can just take the hits. No kill, unfortunately. That's why I wanted that 30% debuff. Um, let's set up a trap. And we, we'd actually, we actually should use this a little more just for the dodge debuff. The dodge debuff of minus 18 on a few specific enemies like this guy is actually really, really good. I should have used it on this guy, actually. Uh, let's quickly get rid of that bleed. We don't want any of that. And I think we can keep popping this. We don't need a lot of healing right now. Everyone's looking pretty good. The The biggest thing that, that, that poses a threat for our team right now is um, movement. If, if enemies move us all about... It can put Hamurabi in the back line and really, really slow down our damage dealing abilities. Percy just can't keep up with damage dealing. Like, if you notice, we actually basically just have one powerhouse um, on this team. We just have one person that's going to be doing almost all the damage, which is a pretty bad way to build your team. But at the same time, if you're building everyone else to help that person, it really, really works out. And this guy doing minus 60% damage is absurdly good. He did one damage. Huzzah. Huzzah, huzzah. 80 prop plus minus 60 damage equals one damage dealt. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, this was definitely the team we needed. Uh, we can probably stun you. We can probably stun you. It also does good damage. We got the bleed, the stun, and the damage. Very good. Um, and I guess if we can debuff you, probably not. We... We got it. We got it. Very nice. Um, just do this. Why not? Clears off our stress. Heals everyone else up. Not that we need the healing, but this will finish this off. I do wish that when an enemy was stunned, you got a buff to your accuracy. Because it's like, they literally cannot dodge. <laughs> like, they are stood completely still. Stunned. Come on now. They can't react. Maybe it'd be a little overpowered, though, if you made stun teams and you were just hit, basically you were stunning them so they couldn't do anything. But then also, you were, um, if ah, unfortunately not them are good. Uh, and then you're just like destroying them and hitting every single hit with their low accuracy, high damage people like the leper. I guess that's the exact reason, but I don't know. It's, it just, it seems logical to me. And this game does run off a lot of logic. I know that obviously it's all made up and everything but there is a lot of logic and and statistics that goes into working out different abilities and things um right sanitize of course i love this sanitize plus um plus improvised tactics it's just such a powerful combo especially in here where with improvised tactics light level does not matter because light level is always at 100 um effectively at least within the courtyard it just it just makes for such a powerful powerful combo and they are both battle long buffs too so no matter how much of a struggle we have no matter how much issues we feel that's really never going to be a problem a crit for nine does definitely hurt, especially with a big bleed there. Um, let's just try and get kills here. We're going to have to be very careful about um, our little librarian here. She won't die for this um, as long as she doesn't get hit like hard again. Um, 
Let's set this up, shall we? Right. Um, let's do that. Not going to heal for a ton, but it'll work. The double kill there is huge. Unfortunately, we are leaving bodies behind, though. And then here we just do this for a huge 26 heal. Oh, my God. Thank you, Amorous. And essentially, this right here is just proving... Oh, that's bad. That's bad. This, this right here is just kind of proving how that's really bad. That's everyone stunned, isn't it? Um, we stunned on the Rapurth, which is nice. Um, sick. Um, we need to get rid of this, bodies. Okay. Nice. Only the 10 heal there, but that's still enough to stop him from dying. Percy's getting hit a lot here, but... Uh, like I said, that's okay. This guy being stunned makes this a lot easier for us. If he wasn't stunned, I'd definitely see more of a problem. Let's heal you up a little bit. Okay. I'm actually going to keep setting this repurst up. It's really good. This repurst is very strong. Please stun him. Please stun him. Yes, look at that. It's only a one use repurst, but it works. No, it didn't destroy either of the bodies. Are you kidding me? There's the big heal we need. And just never getting blight or, blighted or bled is great. The Buried Blast is definitely, definitely the biggest problem. Especially when it hits our healer so hard. For both the damage and... Uh, clip you. Nice. For both the damage and, obviously, the um, stun. The stun's a big problem when it's on Amorous. That's, who we do, that's exactly who we don't want it on. Yeah, okay, extra damage received. You're going to die to the bleed now. That's fantastic to see. You're stunned as well. Perfect. And dying to bleed means no body left over. Unforgiving. Great. Perfect. Perfectly executed. Um, let's, let's debuff you. Yes. Extra damage received. Once more. And that minus speed is great too. Okay. And it just this just shows how quickly we can reel back as long as as long as we're careful, as long as we choose the right things. It shows how quickly we can come back from a, a mistake or uh, a few bad bad luck in a, bad bad bits of luck in a row. It's really nice. I like it a lot. Um, one thing we like I said that we do kind of have to think about now is with these little five missions, we do have to put like this amount of thought into these missions we're going on like it's it's proving it's proving itself right here that if you plan ahead and you and you think about what you're going up against rather than just taking in what you think might work it really makes a huge difference and we're going to be taking that uh, tactic and rolling with it for pretty much the rest of the level five and six missions especially whenever we get to the darkest dungeon i think we're still a little ways off of that we still haven't killed our level five bosses yet it's still something that we have to keep in mind though and we really have to be very prepared for the darkest dungeon i don't know much about it but I know that it's very, very, very brutal, and people take many deaths within those halls. Okay, sanitize. I love the fact that sanitize de-stresses as well. We're keeping people at very low stress a lot of the time here. Um, right. I think we should go with repose here. These, these are very basic enemies. They, they don't they don't pose much of a threat, especially considering our disease uh, blight and bleed resists. I actually think we probably can go for Hugh here. Mm, no, we can't. Let's not. Oh, ho, ho. 51 crit. Awesome. By the way, the, uh, you some of you may be noticing that there's some new there's some new barks. Uh, for those of you that don't know what that is, when when a teammate or enemy uh, has a little box above their head and it says something, that's a bark. Um, you may you may notice there's actually a few new barks. I don't know why I stress healed there. That was stupid. Um, that's because we recently got a mod, which is a community project, which adds over thirteen thousand new barks to all of the. Um, non-modded heroes so like the leper you'll see a lot of new ones on him um and a few of the other non-modded classes and i think modded classes are getting added as we speak um it's very very cool it's just a nice little bit of extra immersion so i i, I really appreciate things like that little little details like that that just add to the immersion of the game and add to the detail of the game are just fantastic they're the mods that i love to see uh let's weaken you a little bit shall we you are going down monsieur Pull you forward. Amorabi's got you in his sights. Um, heal ourselves here. Ah, oh, that's not ourself. Whoopsie. That's not what I meant to do. And you're dead. 
Nice. Hit for exactly 23. As cool. Mount, so too will resistance. Indeed. It does seem like this is a longer area than normal. We don't need the stress relief, luckily. Everyone's on zero. Apart from, apart from Sunasis, who's on one from the hallway stress. But it does seem like this is a longer adventure. We are we are making our way. Um, and we have, we've not, we're not seeing any end in sight yet. For, from what I know as well, by the way, um, I haven't really spoke about the actual boss, the Viscount. Essentially, from what I know, the Viscount is a boss of which has a lot of abilities to heal. Essentially, you have to just rely on doing as much damage as humanly possible to the Viscount as quickly as you can. That's the tactic, really. Having the surprise here is really nice because we get to set up everything before these guys attack. Um, I'll actually do this as well. Set up the prot here. Gets, gives us that heal. And chop. Pretty big. Was hoping for a crit there, but we didn't get it. Okay. I'll be really inter interested to see if we make it out of this without taking any Crimson Curses. That, like, I, I think that would make a lot of sense for our, for our lore, because Isaac has been working really, really hard into, um, into looking at curing and finding, finding something to stop the curse. And... He actually went out on a mission with Alexander with a new concoction, which proved very useful. Maybe he's perfected that. Maybe he's put this to some use and got it to like a 90% effectiveness. That would be that would be very interesting to see. I'd like it if we uh, we saw Isaac's work come to fruition. Definitely clipping you. My God, that's so nice. Haha, -ha, we dodged you anyways. I think we wish want to take you out. Actually, we didn't get you. Um... Shame. I think we'll be able to get you with Percy, though. Don't worry. The first coming on Hammurabi. Okay. Yeah, stress relief on you. Just keep keep with the stress relief, Sunasis. Essentially, Sunasis is just here to cure Blight and Bleed and to get that initial accuracy buff. Everything else from her, while still useful, is kind of inconsequential. They're the two main things we need from her, and she's just here to kind of research, jot things down. That's why she's holding her book so tight to her chest. She's just here to learn the lay of the land. She'd heard and read so much about the courtyard, but still not really seen anything about it. So I think this is her mission to, uh, to experience it for herself and kind of learn. Tentacle Devour doing five damage. Boy. Nice. The longer this guy's up, the worse it gets, but he still does have two rounds of this. If we can even debuff him a little more, that'd be great. Unfortunately, he did resist that one. That's okay, though. Let's set that up. If you attack me, you get stunned. Um, I want to do this one. Man, 22 crit heal. 10 stress relief. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, that does hurt. But that's with minus 60% damage, so thank the Lord for that. We'll clip you again. That did fail that time, unfortunately. What a sad sight to see. I love the fact that we resist the Blight and Bleed literally every time. Like, look at his resists. 128, and I'm pretty sure this has... It doesn't actually say the specific chance, but I'm pretty sure it's only like a 70% chance. Yes, Murby. Beautiful. You are indeed right. It does not dissuade the, the sharpened blade. This man fears nothing. A dizzying fall. Fears absolutely nothing. We push on. It's kind of cool how Amorous actually looks like the, the beasts that are on the floor. Um, maybe the mar the mitres, the mitres, however you want to pronounce it, are um, kind of who became a lot of the courtyard people like that, begging for blood. Okay, we've actually got some more scouting here. It's hard to know if you're ever going the right way with this, but we keep pushing on. Hopefully we get the surprise here. No surprise, unfortunately. It's always a little risky here because if these guys, if we, if we have these guys and they go for the, uh, the thirst, we could end up taking on the uh, Crimson Curse. I'd really rather not. This might be one of the reasons we're taking so much stress, by the way. I never realized they, they apply that debuff. That debuff's kind of crazy. There you go. Yeah, that debuff's kind of insane. There you go. A 
brilliant confluence. I'm actually going to pop that debuff right off of us. Nice. Take you out straight away. That. That hurt. Thank God that was on our strongest class. Because that hurt a lot. <laughs> okay. Okay, don't worry about it. That's something to worry about, but luckily they did it on Amorous again. If they do that on our Librarian, we're kind of screwed, but they didn't. So, let's bring you forward. Break that guard. Um, I don't think it's actually possible for you to die in a single hit. So instead, I'm going to Stress Relief you. And then let wait so you can heal yourself. There you go. Buffs that prot as well. You're down. Berry Blast coming in on both of our healers here. That's big heals across the board and no stuns. That's what we love to see. Okay. I think we just set this up. Lower your dodge because your dodge is pretty high. Lower your stress again because you can heal yourself once more. For a ton more pro as well. Yeah, luckily, everyone's pretty flexible apart from Hamurabi. Could be a stun here. Let's hope not. Yeah, no stun. Good. Go for that second heal. My biggest worry is seeing Amaris get down to low HP. Because although she does have, um, like, these two that self-heal... Her other two big healing skills don't self-heal. That scares me. These two bodies should decay pretty soon. Stress levels low. And we're at minus 60% stress as well incoming. Damn it, it's really annoying that Collar and Restrain only affects the first two positions. It'd be lovely if it didn't. I love the way it kicks the trap. That's so badass. So badass. Okay, that saves us a little bit of time. Lovely. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to take one of these out. Not something that I want to see, but hey, her. There we go. Collar and Restrain. Look at that. Minus 18 dodge, minus 11 speed, and minus 60% damage. Let's throw on 30% damage received there as well. Just to top it all off. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. One HP and a bleed. Gently. Crazy. Crazy. Let's move you forward one more. Um, excuse me. Move you forward one more. Um, uh, I'm stupid. I tried to move this. I forgot I have to move it down here. Right, keep going. That was a very, very clean battle there. A lot, to be fair, lots of these have been very, very clean. Not too troublesome at all. And having the scouting here, knowing there's no battle on this hallway is nice. I'm going to give these guys some more blood because we can get these ancestor trinkets. If we get them, I'd be very, very happy. Um, obviously, I'm not going to um, I'm not going to take any of the low level trinkets unless they sound amazing. But I'm going to keep doing that because, like I said, there's a chance for ancestor trinkets apparently. And they are really, really good. Um, of course, they are. Battle down there. Still haven't seen the boss yet. I'm kind of wondering if we've pr probably gone the wrong way here. Considering... Consider, so, I'm, I'm going to assume that these two meet up. I'm going to assume that these two meet up. And I'm going to assume that this is the right way. I mean, it's all in a day's work, though. It's it's kind of it's kind of the process of being in the courtyard. We're going to end up fighting a lot of things unnecessarily. We're going to end up having some bad times. Get the surprise? Yes! Getting surprise on this guy is, is just so nice. If we can get a crit on this guy from the from the get-go with Hamurabi, that would be just fantastic. So, let, let's see. Yes! <laughs> Hamurabi, you absolute beast. You beast. I can't believe you did that. You're, you're, you're amazing. You're the best. And these two will push themselves forward right into Hamurabi's grasp. Or at least one of them will. You're going to heal yourself up in a sec. Tentacle Devour is going to hurt. The first. 
care. Kind of annoying when these guys are surprised and they get like 16,000 turns in a row. It's a little bit upsetting. Just get rid of that bleed real quick. I'm going to just do this on you. Set that up. I'd rather stun you than anything else. Missed the debuff, but that's okay. Heal you up. And then we'll heal Hammurabi up next turn. Although he's, he's going to get um, six healing for two rounds here, which is good enough. There you go. That is of our doing just no damage at all. It's great. The first coming in, unfortunately, really not who we wanted to hit us there, because you're going to get stunned now, and we just don't care about that. Hopefully this... Yes, we got it. We got it. Um, I think we keep healing people right now. We don't need stress relief too much. Nice, you're back up to full. I love that. Oh, I love that. Four damage on a tentacle devour. Four. Yeah, just restore everyone right now. Stress is annoying, but not terrible. Nice one, Percy. Well done. And that even stress heals everyone. Because of that trinket, the Cherish Keepsake. Stress heal yourself, dude. Nice. Finish you off. Oh, no. We didn't get it. That's okay. That's okay. That's all right. Um, I think we do that. Okay. Deafening wine. It missed. Great. That's a bit annoying. Him being behind there. I'm already can't get him now. Darn kid. Run away from me. Ooh, we took the bleed that time, though. He did take the bleed. Yeah, it's really annoying that guy moved himself over there. Should be dead now, though, with that bleed. Quickly just get rid of that, because why the hell not? And everyone's back at zero stress again. Ah, oh, plus five percent damage. <laughs> it resisted anyways. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay, um... Get rid of that. I'd rather have money than Curios right now. Okay, another trap here, Percy. Are you ready to disarm this? I don't know how he's disarming that with tongs, but you go ahead. Bring your kitchen utensils along if you like. More stress relief here. I'm getting wary that we're getting close, but at the same time, I'm wary that we're not close at all. <laughs> the courtyard's strange. Like, I feel, yeah, I feel like we're close, but also just not close at all. It's weird. Uh, let's quickly do this and this. Yeah, there you go. That, that looks a little more neater. And then we'll go like that. Yeah. That was good. I don't not, I don't often organize my inventory, but when we're down here and we're, we're, we could be here for a while, I'm going to do it. Okay. Kind of annoying enemies. We got the surprise again, though. This is kind of bad because these two, I think, can both go for the stun right off the bat as soon as they're unsurprised, which could lead us for a full party stun. I'm really hoping it doesn't, but it is theoretically plausible that they do that. Unless they can't use it on turn one, but I, I doubt that's the case. The Huge. Quakes. Well done. Of course, kills on, um, kills on a stun. Kills on a stun. Kills on a crit mean absolutely no uh, body left over. Just decimates the thing. Okay, Percy did unfortunately take the, take the big hit there. Let's get rid of that. Such a cool heal, this, because the restoration heals up for the one the one tick of bleed that you take, and it also removes the rest of the bleed. Nice. Okay, they're really, they're really after Sunasis here, and she is taking a lot of damage. Oh, do not. Do not. Okay, thank God. Sunasis, please. Just be okay. You've got this here, so you should be all right. Flip you. Not exactly the heal we needed, but that's enough. Actually, more than enough. Great. Um, let's make sure you're taking a little more, more damage. Nah. Resisted, unfortunately. Okay. Going for the bigger hits. Now, these guys do have some props, so... Quickly the time really? Turns. Really? Can you leave Sunasis alone? She's not even marked. What the hell's going on? Okay. 
We just get a crit heal from re regen. I ne didn't even know that was a thing. Didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, nice. That's great. Should stun you. Seems to be a pretty high stun. I think it's 140, so we're getting that stun quite often. <laughs> a heal for 40. Great. Having two of these is, is such a pain. Such a pain. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep setting up this repair. This repair is great. Reset it up whenever it's ready. Try and get you six more damage. Resist it again. It's just really low chance, unfortunately. Haha, <laughs> they keep going for Percy because he's marked. And they just keep stunning themselves. Percy's doing a great job. He is bleeding, but not for much. And we can get rid of it pretty easily, too. Okay, I think... He, are you dead to bleed? You're not quite dead to bleed, sadly. Not quite. Get rid of that. But we'll finish you off with Percy. Now you're dead to bleed. Okay. You, you're only taking a little bit of bleed. So that's fine. We'll chop you down. Nice, Murabi. Well done. A death. By the way, I realized that it's Hammurabi, Hammur, Hammurabi, but I say Hammurabi. I, I, I don't know. It just sounds, it flows a lot better in my head. I know that it's not quite right. I realized that, but it just, yeah, it just flows a lot better for me. Hello, sir. Would you like some more blood? Sadly, nothing of necessary use. While we've got over two stacks, hey, a treasure is here. Hello. Hmm. I don't think it's worth using any of his skills on this guy. Once we once he's at the back, we'll try and pull him forward. Unnerved, unbalanced. If I can hit him, or if we can hit him, that'd be great. But I doubt he's going to get him. Blanket fire. While we've not got the repost up, blanket fire is kind of annoying. The slightest lapse in concentration. Oh, these enemies are actually pretty bad. I didn't really think about this. These enemies are pretty bad. Um, we're missing... We're going to go for the, the repost. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's so clutch. Masterfully that was so clutch. Executed. Get away. Do that. I don't think we're going to get this guy, by the way. Yeah, his, his dodge is just too high. Nice. Double dodge. Heal up. Murabi, you're next. Diminished. Nice. Cut down. Yeah, I don't really care. Unfortunately, we just don't have a build to take that guy down. The only way to really get him is to get him first turn. So I, I don't mind missing him. Blanket fire is going to trigger a full repost. Heals across the board. We actually gained health out of that. Fantastic. Cut your damage down. Okay. I'm going to re at that. Nice. And cut you as well. Okay, these two are pretty low now. Percy, you can finish one. Sadly, these two don't have any damage moves, so they can't finish. We could technically put on damage moves. Like... <sighs> Forbidden Chant, I don't really see the use case in Forbidden Chant. We, technically, we could go with something like um, the, the Hand of Rapture. It's going to clear corpses, but I just don't know what we get rid of for it. Like, all of all of our skills here are really, really good. Um, yeah, they're, they're really, really good. I just don't know what we get rid of for it. Seems like a bad idea. Just to finish things a little quicker. Okay, so it reposts again. Heal everyone up. Oh, everyone only needs little heals here, so that'll do. Nice. Okay, not a trinket we want. This momentum. Push, Push on, on to, to the, the task's end. end. This one wants um, herbs. I can't remember. I think this gives food. Yeah, it does. Nice. Food's great because it's a source of healing for us. We don't need food checks, but being able to heal between battles is great. Get the surprise. 
Ah, damn. That's okay. That's okay. We got this. One of them's going to get to go before us. Oh, no. Nice. Getting them two set up before anything else happens. Awesome. Actually, getting these three set up before anything happens is even more awesome. Hammurabi's always going to go last because he speeds one. Grievous Crit there. Injury. We're fine. Got the blood. Only three damage. Nice. Hit you bigly. That could hurt. Eh, it didn't hurt too much. Didn't hurt too much. Call and restrain you, just in case. I'm gonna do that on myself. As soon as this needs that. Let's just go for the kill here. Don't, let's let's not mess around, especially because this guy's called and restrained. Makes more sense. Repost again. Heals these guys up in a major way. That's a huge hit. That is a huge hit. I mean, we're fine, but that is not something we want to see. Pest is going to get stunned again. Yep, that's okay. Pest has kind of done what he needs to with um, Collar and Restrained there. We resisted the curse there. Nice. Let's go for the heals here. We're going to we're gonna double heal on Hammurabi, I think. Pest needs to start setting up his repost. Okay, nice dodge. Nice dodge. I'm actually going to heal Percy first because his health is, his like base HP is lower and we've already got some restoration here. Nice. Another kill. I have to say, I am, I am very tempted to put on that, uh, that rapture to clear all the corpses. It seems like it would be very helpful. Seems like it's sort a lot of our problems, but at the same time, his healing skills are just too good to get rid of. Nice. I love this skill. This skill's so good. This is such an interesting mechanic for a repost. It's single use, but it's just so damn good. Nice. Cut a body away. Good. Okay, call and restrain you. Yes. At minus 11 speed. Holy Jesus. You ain't got much speed now, boy. You ain't got much speed now. Right, taking him out. That's okay, no repost though, we hadn't set that up yet. Taking quite a lot of damage there. You're stunned as well, so better for us. Set this up again. It's great, because we, we either use it as a repost or use it as the skill on the next round. Either way, it works out for us. This guy's gone. No crit, sadly. No crit at all. But we should get the stun here. Five damage. Beautiful stun. Beautiful stun. There we go. One of the bodies cleared as well. Even better, because that means Hammurabi is lined up and ready. Lined up and ready. Four, two, one. Wow. Stress, de stress dealing right now is just non-existent unless we get one person really focused like we did at the very start the stress dealing right now is just great set up that once more yeah setting up this just every round with him after the facts unless we need to pull someone forward is seems like the best way to go to be honest it's a fantastic way to just keep enemies stunned especially since a lot of these enemies have aoe attacks it means that they're definitely going to be hitting him and there's a 36 crit awesome Huge. We got a Jude Tapestry here. Um, so 4,500. I think we just take it over the, the um, Citrine. Seems like a good idea. Yeah. More scouting. Okay. Getting a lot of splitting paths. It's always a little confusing. Packs laden with loot. Okay, I think... Don't you touch that, you stupid. I'm pretty sure that was the thing that can give you, um... That can give you thingy, uh... Campfires, the winemaker's reserves. I'm not 100% sure, but if it is, fucking this guy was like, mm, okay, I'm gonna touch that. <laughs> it's like, why? Why do you have to touch that, Percy? You didn't have to touch that, did you? Okay. 
This is this is enemies that can stack the stress a little higher, a little quicker. Also, I never remember what this enemy does. So I reckon the idea should be to focus it down pretty quickly. Careless whispers. I think that's horror. Yeah, horror. She's moved herself to the front. Didn't quite work out, but we got the person that was guarding, so that's fine. Stress is going to come in hot and heavy on this. Berry Blast, don't get us a stun. Yes. As long as we, as long as Hamurabi doesn't get stunned himself, I think we're in an okay place. We're just going to clip you because I don't really know how much damage you do. I love it when they get a big heal on themselves and they're at full health. It's like, well, you wasted that, didn't you? Oh, okay. We can clear that guard, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Got that coming in, and the bleed as well. I might, I'm just going to clear that off with this, save us a turn. Get us the kill. Because we've easily got him healed up to full here. Almost full. And... Let's break that guard. Pull you forward. I don't like guarding. I don't like seeing that. Um, I think we can go for this. Mind your manners. Ow. We got marked. Uh, did that do anything else? I don't think it did. No debuffs or anything. Maybe we uh, resisted them, but I'm not sure. Easily get that going on. Fourteen damage. A little bit scary. You're gone. Lovely. What we like to see. Um, stress relief. How are we looking? Everyone's looking fine on stress right now. Let's just get you healed up a little bit. It's annoying that we can't pull this enemy, but like I said, this is where the repose comes in so handy because we don't need to pull it. It's still going to hit us because we're marked and I love hitting Percy. And you're stunned again. Great stuff. Um, just heal you up. Why not? Why the hell not? Get rid of one of those bodies. Pull you forward a little bit more. There we go. And you are effectively destroyed now. And we can even call her and restrain. Unfortunately, it didn't. It didn't come through. But this might. Ah, damn it! Two resists. Two resists in a row. You big bug. Let's set that up. Get us up to full health. Lower our stress and just make sure that we don't take much damage here. Because this guy, this guy, from what we've seen so far, is our most formidable foe. Can do a lot of damage and has a stun. There's that debuff. A little bit of extra damage there. And you're dead. Great stuff. This team is killing it. A trifling victory. So we do... Okay, so we do actually have these locked doors. We do have these locked doors because we've got one right there. We've got one right there. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave the episode here uh, and jump back into this next time. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to like end the mission or anything. I'm, I'm going to stay in the mission. If I exit the desktop right from here, we will re re resume the game exactly how we are right now. So that's what I'm going to do. And we'll try and finish this off in the next episode, if not the one after that. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I, 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 I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Don't say that. We've got two more diary entries to get through. Let's get through those first. <laughs> um, we do have two more diary entries. One for the uh, Voivod. The Voivod. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I, I got it explained to me a lot. I think it's Voivod um, for Marcus. Um, and this is by Blank Gaming. After some quiet particular tests, one of the doctors in the hamlet, Isaac, came to the conclusion that the curse had mutated because it had been in my body for too long. Giving me unique abilities that I wasn't only... Um, but that I was... Sorry, unique abilities, and that I wasn't the only one experiencing this. But that made no sense. I got bitten a month ago. People in this hamlet have had it so much longer than me and gotten no side effects. After I told that to Isaac, he told me about the most uh, likely scenario, is that whoever infected me had been carrying the cares for too long. Quickening the spread into my body, but honestly at this point, I didn't really care. 
Even if the disease affected me like it affected any normal person, it would have picked up a weapon and stormed into the court. Yeah, I would have picked up a weapon, stormed to the courtyard to cure everyone of this damn disease. With my newfound power, this just became easier. Whoever or whatever started this, this curse, they will pay. I'll make sure of it. Then we have one last one, again by Blank Gaming, for our Duchess Victoria. The curse is really starting to get on my nerves. It kicked me out of my life of luxury. It's uh, it has made hundreds of people and um, just live miserably. Not to mention just how annoying those mosquitoes are. Being such a bother to an ex royal, it's not uh, it's not a good idea. I will slide through every last one of them, even if it kills me. Dying knowing I contributed to such a cause, I'd die happily. But I wish they'd tr um, try. I wish them luck trying to take me down. My God, I know I butchered that last one. I do apologize. My reading skills are. Not, not very good. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.